Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys the top 10 upgraded silver to gold players in FIFA 14. And I'm going to be showing you guys in this video the analytics between the FIFA 13 versions and the FIFA 14 version. Just showing you guys some players that I feel have been really nicely upgraded and going through prices and just explaining to you guys about the new upgrades to some stats. So as you can see up on screen, we'll start with Dalufu. He has moved as a left wing, 73 rated overall rare silver to a rare gold player that's a 75 rated and he is now a right winger so he has got still maintains his 7, uh, 91 pace he has got however though four star skills and four star weak foot making him very good on the ball and at the same time nice high attack and work rate and also guys I'll explain to you about prices at the moment because uh, when, when it gets into 13 uh, when 13 was leaving pretty much and going into 14 prices of players might go down a little bit because of these cards no longer being those silver rare cards and uh, that could have an effect it was a bit like how what happened to Agbon Lahore when 12 went into 13 so we're going to move on to the next player guys Kayute over here the centre back who has some unbelievable stats on him but in 14 guys he has been moved up upgraded by uh, an overall rating of one but he's sacrificed one to his pace and got that on his defending meaning he'll be much more stronger you can also see he does have 88 strength which is going to be very good for muscling off a lot of opponents and also he does have medium medium work rate so that kind of can be a bit on the bad side but we'll go with the plus side on that one and you can also see his sprint speed is 85 so going to be quite quick and his jumping is very useful because that way you can use him for headers when it comes to uh, corners and all that sort of stuff guys so very useful on that front and hopefully we get to see a few other card versions of him in the game we have gone on to now Verratti guys he was a 74 center mid card for PSG and now has moved to a 70 seven center defensive mid that's a non-rare gold another thing guys another thing if you don't know if you haven't recognized but uh the non-rares all have a flat top and the rares do have like a little crowning on the top but yeah Verratti guys got some really good passing stats 84 passing uh which is short passing and then long passing 82 so he's going to be a pass master in the league one he's also lost a little bit of pace but gained a very good defensive stat that's why he's probably moved from a center mid to a center defensive mid so also he's got great vision which is 84 vision and three star skills and three star weak foot and uh, next we're going to move on to Christian Benteke as I said guys before you can see that little crown on the top of the card and that gives away that they are a rare card but he's got still three star skills three star weak foot he's gone up by an overall rating guys of seven and that's really unbelievable but he did play really well last season for Aston Villa and you can see now his shooting has gone up by 10 which is unbelievable he's gone up to a 75 rate um, on the shooting side Finishing guys, he's got 83 finishing, which is great, and 82 shot power, meaning he's going to be very good. And then the best stat of them all is definitely his 90 strength, which means he will be creating uh, pretty much a muscle fight with anyone he gets running into. So definitely a good player to look out for. Maybe his price will be actually kind of cheaper. And same with Lukaku, guys, as you can see up on the screen. In FIFA 13, they were silvers, and that mainly made them much more expensive. But now, because they're going to be golds, I've got a feeling their price might not stay as expensive. Maybe to around, say, Christmas time their prices will start really heavily decreasing or maybe even before that in November so you can definitely guarantee yourself there a decrease in uh, the prices but as you can see up on screen guys um, as you can see Lukaku's only gone up by an overall of three and on the stat wise he's kept maintained his shooting at 73 but he's had an increase in two to his pace and also has set 90 strength so very strong with his shot power and he's got a deadly left foot if you haven't tried him give him a go in 13 you'll see what I mean by that deadly left foot next we'll move on to De Santos who is a right mid in 13 with a 74 rated card he has now moved into 14 with a 79 rated card so an increase in five there's overall rating and he's moved from the right hand side of play to the left hand side and he's also transferred clubs so you can also see there guys he now plays for Villarreal he's also got 87 dribbling which is unbelievable and this is one thing I really liked about this card guys when looking at it he's got four star skills four star weak foot and he's got amazing physicals he's got nice acceleration nice sprint speed for a card that doesn't look that fast he will be deadly and very quick on the field and he's got some really nice balance skill stats over there so you can see he can be also a bit of a free kick taker next player I really enjoy this guy using this guy is Zapata now as a center mid uh, center defensive uh, center center back where am I going with that one yeah, he's got 60 pace, guys. You can see also he's got 73 
pace now in 14 and he's got an overall increase I think it's by 5 in 14 but his pace is definitely the best one it's gone up by 13 many uh, Serie A sides are definitely going to have him and I can guarantee you guys playing him with Chiellini and Ogbonna is definitely going to be one of those things you have to do in 14 guys he's going to be very quick especially those 3-5-2 teams they might be just used like that and you can also see his defensively he's gone up by 10 so he's gone from 71 to 81 which is very great stuff for him guys now we're going to move on to another center back which is Toprak and now I was going to do Sun guys but uh, I'm going to do him for a hidden hidden gem sort of side of the uh, top 10 but yeah you guys can see he had a team of the season card can maintain the same pace he was around 12k in FIFA 13 not too sure how much his price will be in 14 however because he's a non-rare I don't feel it's going to be that expensive you can see over there goes up on screen guys uh, he has two star skill moves four star weak foot but his main stat which I'd say is the greatest one is his standing tackle which is 81 and overall heading accuracy also 79 which is going to be quite useful pushing him up as a defender going for those corners and trying to get those nice attacks so yeah guys we'll move on to the next player now which is Marquinhos now this guy has been an absolute amazing player he's also been competitive compared to Thiago Silva. That's an amazing comparison. You can see over there he's got an increase from his pace from initially, we'll talk about its overall first, from a 68 to a 78, an increase in 10. And then also guys, as a centre back with that pace, with 66 pace now to 78, so an increase in 12 there. And he's going to be very good because he's got 80 interceptions, meaning he'll be able to run off and cut off people very quickly. Nice sliding and standing tackle. Sliding tackle being 84 and standing tackle being 83. So definitely going to be a very powerful defender in 14. Mainly, uh, you're going to see him probably with Thiago Silva instead of Alex because Sacco has transferred to Liverpool. So, you guys can see the final player we're going to look at is Juan Jesus or Juan Jesus, depending on how you like to pronounce that. My Brazilian friend told me it's Jesus, but uh, I'll go with Jesus, guys. And you can see up on screen, he has had some amazing stats increase in the league in this area. Uh, he's gone from a 73 paced card to a 79 paced card very quick on the ball. And uh, also, 89 jumping, which means he's going to jump very quite a lot, get those headers into the back of the net, and probably be very overpowered from corners. And you can also see, guys, he's going to be uh, very strong as well with 87 aggression, getting into those tackles full-hearted. But, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this little bit of a uh, top 10 uh, of the upgrades. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you're new here, please do subscribe and drop it a like, guys, as likes always appreciated. And this is going to be AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next uh, top 10 very soon.